Welcome, dear friends and believers. This is Senior Pastor Michael Whitlock with the Nazarene Ministry. We've been working on Psalm 51, which I'm calling this lesson, How to Make an Apology to God. Turn your Bibles to Psalm 51, and let's look at verse 7. Cleanse me with hyssop, and I am clean. Wash me, and I am whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my crookednesses. Create in me a clean heart, O Elohim, and a renewed, steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your set-apart spirit from me. That means Holy Spirit. Restore to me the joy of your deliverance, and uphold me, noble spirit. Let me teach transgressors your ways, so that sinners turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guilt, O Elohim. Elohim of my deliverance, let my tongue sing aloud your righteousness. O Yahovah, open my lips, and that of my mouth declare your praise. For you do not desire slaughtering, or I would give it. You do not Delight in burnt offering. The slaughterings of Elohim are a broken spirit, a heart broken and crushed, O Elohim. These you do not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion. Build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you would delight in slaughterings of righteousness, in burnt offering, complete burnt offering. Then young bull would be offered on your altar. Praise the Lord God Almighty for Psalm 51, teaching us how to apologize to God for our sin, how to confess it, and the next show, we're going to be talking about the importance of change. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for all of those out there in the blood, in the name of Messiah Yeshua, Jesus Christ Nazarene. All of those out there who at this time of the year are dealing with loneliness, sadness, sorrow, despair, depression, because of the holidays, because of the lack of acknowledgement by their families or friends. Father, I would ask you to bless all of those who will hear this broadcast to be healed and made joyous in happy praise for the time of the year, and for you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.